dear students please note down these notes are available in the description of video please download your notes in this lecture of development of chick today we will clear two important topics one is fertilization second is cleavage in our last lecture we have discussed structure of spermatozoon and structure of ovum dear students in case of fertilization the fusion of gametes the fusion of sperm and ovum that takes place and this process of fertilization in case of chick in case of birds in case of hen that is internal as it occurs inside the female body the specific site of fertilization in case of hen that is this upper glandular part of oviduct it is magnum this ovary it is left ovary and this oviduct it is left oviduct it means in case of birds in case of hen that is a characteristic feature of all birds the right ovary is lacking not down all competitive exam students only the left ovary and the left oviduct these are present as well as well, well developed while the right ovary and right oviduct right ovary is absent and right ov oviduct vestigial greatly reduced non functional this ovary it gets attested by a membranous pore that is mesovarium and from the ovary this immature ovum which is released at the stage of primary oocyte it is a diploid body and this primary oocyte is received by this funnel shaped part of this oviduct it is oviducal funnel or it is infundibulum the sperms which are received by the hen the female body in this vagina and these sperms from this vagina enter here in the oviduct and finally reach the site of fertilization that is magnum here fertilization occurs it means fertilization is internal and about half a dozen no down about half a dozen of sperms enter into this blastodisc or germinal disc through this membrane it is vital line membrane or fertilization membrane dear students the entry of sperms into this blastodisc disc that stimulates this primary oocyte to undergo to complete its maturation divisions and this primary oocyte undergoes reductional division as well as equational division as well as a result two polar bodies and one ovum are formed out of these half of dozen of sperms only one nucleus of one sperm and nucleus of ovum are fused after the formation of fertilized egg zygote these layers these egg coats are developed the formation or the secretion of this vital and membrane or it is fertilization membrane that is secreted by the graafian follicles of ovary while this albumen coat this coat it is secreted by this glandular part of oviduct it is magnum and it means the formation of this albumen occurs after fertilization after the entry of sperms and these shell membranes and these cell shell membranes are secreted by this middle glandular part of oviduct it is isthmus while this outer calcareous shell is and this outer hard calcareous shell is it is produced by this hind part of oviduct it is uterus now down in case of hen in case of birds fertilization that occurs inside female body that is internal process and here at the time of fertilization only this membrane it is vital line membrane or it is fertilization membrane that is present 
एंड द एंट्री ऑफ अबाउट हाफ ए डजन ऑफ स्पाम्स इन टू दिस ब्लास्ट और डेस्क और जर्मिनल डेस्क इन विच न्यूक्लियस इज प्रेजेंट दैट स्टिमुलेट दिस प्राइमरी ऊसाइट टू अंडरगो टू कंप्लीट इट्स मैचुरेशन डिविजन्स बट द फ्यूजन ऑफ ओनली वन स्पाम न्यूक्लियाई एंड द फ्यूजन ऑफ एग न्यूक्लिया एज ए रिजल्ट ए डिप्लॉयड बॉडी गेट्स रिस्टोर्ड द प्रोसेस इज एम्फी मिक्सेस मीन्स कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ बोथ पेरेंट्स आर मिक्सड एंड आफ्टर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जायगोट फर्टिलाइज एग दीज एग कोट्स आर सीक्रेटेड दिस एल्ब्यूमन इज सीक्रेटेड बाई दिस अपर ग्लैंडुलर पार्ट ऑफ ओविडक्ट इट इज मैग्नम then these shell membranes are secreted by this middle glandular part of oviduct that is isthmus and while this hard calcareous coat shell is it is produced by hind part of oviduct that is uterus entry of several sperms inside the blastodisc and this process is named physiological polyspermy not only in case of human being only one sperm that enters inside the womb that is monospermy but in case of chick in case of hen in case of birds several sperms about half a dozen of sperms enter that is polyspermy entry of several sperms and entry of several sperms that stimulates the process of maturation next topic is cleavages cleavages means the diploid zygote that is cleaved that is converted into that zygote is single cell body and that single cell body is converted into multicellular body this process of cleavages it is partial it is neuroblastic and it is cleidoic dear students because in case of chick in case of birds due to presence of heavy amount of yolk the egg is megalocytal the egg is macrolocytal telolocytal it means the cleavage process occurs only in very small active cytoplasm that is blastodes in the form of a small disc so that kind of cleavage only in blastodes it is discoidal it is partial or it is neuroblastic first cleavage not down in in case of chick in case of hen the first cleavage is meridional or it is vertical that occurs in the center of the blastodes and these furrows cleavage furrows linings move outwards second cleavage second cleavage also meridional vertical but it occurs at right angle to the first this is first cleavage second cleavage at right angle to the first and third cleavage third cleavage is almost parallel to the first cleavage and third cleavage occurs on both sides of the first cleavage as is as a result 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 blastomeres eight cells are formed and this one is the fourth cleavage this fourth cleavage again it is vertical as is as a result it produce a mass of eight cells eight blastomeres which are central and these central blastomeres are complete while the outer peripheral blastomeres 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these outer eight or peripheral blastomeres are incomplete after fourth cleavage the process of cleavage becomes rapid and it becomes irregular as a result in that blastom disc a mass of cells and two types of cells two types of blastomeres the central complete cells while in the peripheral region these are incomplete cells and this segmented blastodisc that is called 
blastoda dear students this is all about fertilization in case of hen in case of chick in case of birds the fertilization is internal here several sperms enter in the blastodes at that process is physiological polyspermy but in case of man only one sperm enters that is monospermy and entry of several sperms that stimulates this primary oocyte having only this membrane it is white line it is fertilization membrane it means after the entry of sperms after the process of fertilization these egg coats albumen shell membranes and shell are formed that fertilization which is internal and after fertilization the resultant egg that is a diploid body that is zygote the zygote is cleaved the process is cleavage breakdown of single cell zygote into a multicellular body first cleavage that is vertical that is meridional second cleavage at right angle to the first third cleavage which is almost parallel to the first and occurs on both sides fourth cleavage that is again vertical as a result this central inner eight blastomeres which are complete at outer eight peripheral blastomeres are incomplete then after fourth cleavage division the process becomes irregular and very rapid as a result this entire blasto disc having a mass of blastomeres and this segmented blasto disc that is called blastoderm